I was like, I ain't tripping true. I don't know what y'all got going on up in this mud, but this is crazy. looking at the colors because the color that I wanted for one of them uh, y'all like I really real deal wanted a particular color and I saw I saw it on TikTok so I went to I knew that it carried in Sharon Williams uh yeah I see them look like it's somebody ain't it Sherwin <laughs> not Sherwin <laughs> but uh yeah man so yeah um I got that. They had it there. So when I was looking at it, I was like, dang, this mug. I don't know. So um, I saw the other colors that was in the color family. So I said, okay, I think I'm going to do a gradient look in the salon. So I added another color. So uh, I was going to do a sample color on that. But uh, the samples that they carry the sample when they do sample paint they don't do matte and i particularly want a matte finish i don't want no other finish i want the matte finish so i had to he said they only carried the matte in the gallon so like i was like dang but i was tripping i said let me go and get this i'm ready to paint my salon <laughs> so uh yeah so i i oh uh, he, he said they a bit pricey so he said he can give me a discount. So I'm like, uh, all right. <laughs> he asked me if I wanted to get a discount. I'm like, yeah, I want a discount. <laughs> so uh, I asked him, I said, what would it be uh, if I get the discount? Because y'all, originally, the gallon is like, per gallon, and you know the Sharon Williams. So the gallon is like $80, $80 per gallon. I was like, so I was like, Ugh. so I said, okay, if I get it, what would the discount be? And he so he tallied it up and he told me that it would be uh what it was. It'll be forty six dollars after the after the discount. So I'm like, heck yeah, shoot, that's a good discount. It's like what forty um almost half half you know 50 percent off all right but he said <laughs> the only thing was i couldn't get my receipt so uh i was like i ain't tripping shoot i don't know what y'all got going on up in this mud but shoot i ain't tripping you can have my receipt too so that worked out perfectly and i ended up getting a stain too because i supposed to got from home depot i ordered a particular stain while i was in the store because they didn't have it 
but I don't know if they mailed it to me because I thought it would come to the locker and I haven't checked my mailbox. So I was like, man, I'm finna go on while I'm in here. Let me get this thing just in case because I want to go ahead and stain my two my two by four. You know, actually, it's 11 by five. I wanted to go ahead and do that. So um, I had got there. I saw a gloss that they had. They had a gloss that I was looking for in particular so um but i was like let me stop because you know i'm thinking about the convenience and i was like no let me go i know i'm already gonna be going to home depot because you know they i need some more brushes paint brushes i got the handles but i need the brushes the little brush to go to whatever you call it and i know that um it's way cheaper at home depot so I said, I'm going to check out what glosses that they have for the finish on my table. So I, I'm headed that way. I'm going to have to make me a list. Because <coughs> I don't know about y'all, but I have to make a list if I know I'm going to have to get multiple things in the store. So I'm going to have to make me a list. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to, I got to do that. And y'all, I'm excited. Finally, I get to do this because, you know, I was my baby boy out of town. So it's going to give me time to, um, yeah, time to do what I need to do. So I'm so grateful for my, my in-laws. I'm so grateful for them. So, um, yeah, so I got that going. And then I'm going to head back to the shop after I come from Home Depot. And I'm going to uh, do a unbagging for y'all slash unbox because uh, some of the stuff in a box. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, y'all. Yeah, my face, like it's broke out. I don't know, hope, I wonder if it's someone I was holding those, holding that stuff, it broke my chin out because I'm very sensitive. Very sensitive to uh, things on my face. But anyway, I got some goodies. I got this. So this is from Home Depot. Let's see. This Home Depot. Got the little buckets. So I need to take this back to the car. This is the buckets for the stainer and the gloss finish for my two by four, my table, my eleven by five. This right here. Yeah. This one sander to sand the wood when it's time to gloss because they said when you put your first coat on to sand it and then put your next coat on got some more paint brushes paint roller brushes uh paintbrush for the stainer and the gloss for the wood wood glue for to adhere to the uh, cabinets so put a little adhesive on it so the cabinets won't move around well the wood the table won't move around i have to test that out too to see if it's the right fit too and if it's not i'm gonna have to take it back to uh home depot hopefully if they let me we'll see i'm sure they will i know i ain't the only one that had that issue so we're gonna see but uh if it doesn't fit I'm trying to take it back so they can cut it to the right size and i got this is the gloss finish hopefully this is what i'm looking for because i want it to be like a glossy glossy finish i want it to have a shine all right i'm gonna show you all my inspo picture too I found off Pinterest. Okay, let's 
So I'm gonna put all of that back in this bag. The stain, brush, the stain, I mean the gloss finish, the bucket, and the paint. Leave that back. Leave that in here. So I have this. I can't believe it. I made it. I brought it up the steps. I had to get the guy to help me take it to the car because I didn't know if it was too heavy because, you know, my back, uh, it ain't like it used to be. But I did it. So this is the stain that I had got. This is the stainer. The stain. I saw a sample that they did. So hopefully... The one I'll be really wanting, they don't ever have. Even at Home Depot, they didn't have it. <laughs> but yeah, so this, this is close to, so got that as a stainer. So we're gonna put this in the bag as well. This is this is the retreat color that I got. This is the retreat. Retreat. And I have the other two in there too. I'm trying to stay. I still forgot to get a popper for the uh, open the dang it to open up the cans. I might have to bootleg something because I don't feel like going up there to get that the uh, wood stick or the thing to pop it up. I might just get my key to pop it up, pop open the wood, the uh, paint because ain't nobody going to go back up there. So I'm not gonna take the other two out because I don't, I don't want to mess with it. But I think I'm gonna uh, with that retreat. But I want to do samples to see what I'm looking at. Let's go ahead and do it, y'all. And I also have a client at seven o'clock. She's getting the deluxe package. Our deluxe package includes a pre poo protein treatment, coarse shampoo and conditioner, so pre poo protein treatment and a steam treatment slash conditioning treatment, trim, and a style. So basically, if you're uh, trying to uh, shake, like if you haven't been to the salon in a while, or your hair has just been really going through it and you don't know where to start. I always recommend a deluxe package because that's everything you need in one. So, like, you get a full work, the full works. So you don't have to worry about booking a trim, booking a style, So, because that's how I have my site. I have it so, like, for people that don't know what to get, I put in my details, like, hey, if you're going through this, or I'm going through this, this is going on with your hair, with this, but like if you know that you just want to get certain things, I have that option as well. All right. So let's see if we can pop this open. I forgot how I popped it the last time because I didn't have a stick the last time. Oh, it was a turn top. That's why. And they have a wood top right here. Oh, that took nothing. Okay. Yeah, girl be blue man. And y'all, I want to refresh these cabinets, but the only thing is, I did a custom color with these cabinets. So, I mixed two colors together, and I created this color. So, this is a custom color by Chrissy Poop. Yeah, that's a, that wasn't bad at all. Y'all don't be knowing why I want to smell everything when I open stuff. 
I want to smell it or food. I, I just like to smell it. This is what it's looking like. Let me see if I turn the light on so y'all get the true food. So y'all, with this color, it's tricky. This color is very tricky. Um, when I, like right now, it's really bright, but when it dries, it's not gonna look like that at all. It's gonna be a little darker. So that's that color. So we're gonna test this color out. Got three uh, pans. Look at these pans, cause I know I'm be working with three colors. And I don't feel like trying to, yeah. Cause they cheap, they only, they were like 98 cents. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to use this. I'ma just scrape some of the paint off of the uh, top lid. And I'ma, uh, uh, hold on. So I'm gonna scrape some of the paint off the top lid of the uh, paint and I'm gonna test it out on the wall. I don't know. Cause I wanna paint a little bit, but at the same time, I gotta be cautious. I can't paint too much because I got time coming and I don't want the fumes to mess with her. So you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna paint a little bit, but not too much. So I can kind of get an idea of so when I am done my client, it'll be like completely dry and I'll be able to see what the vision is and see if that's the paint that I want. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is, I know a perfect way I can do this. Uh, with seeing all three colors, but mainly seeing the two colors right there. And I'm gonna put the one color over there. But I'm gonna put, since it's a corner right there, I'm gonna put one color right there on the left side and another color on the right side. And then on this side, I'm gonna put it closer to this side right here so I can still see the colors together. Too because I'll be able to move out this out the way in this corner. I gotta see how I take this off. Oh lord. Oh, I should have took this off when it was wet. I'm not, if if I can't get this off, I got another brush. I found it. Yes, it came off. All right, so I got one of these, y'all. So I went ahead and just got six of these, uh, just in case, since I have multiple paints I have to do, and then I know most likely I am, like once I'm done, like I said, with the base of the salon, I'ma uh, do like touch and finishes, so I need, still need more paint brushes. But I gotta stop being lazy. Cause like when I use a paintbrush, I don't wanna use it no more. <laughs> because I don't wanna deal with all the paint when you rinse it out. <laughs> I gotta do better. Well, let's see if this go in. Hey, it did, it did. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse each one. I don't know. Yeah, cause I want I want like a little paint sample. I want like a full on like stroke paint sample so I can really see. So uh, I'm gonna use this, but then I'm gonna rinse it so I won't have to use all my pans right now until it's time to really paint. Now I'm glad I'm coloring this, y'all, cause I have scuffing works. I have to tell my clients, but I know 
I know when I move my, finish my station, this chair is gonna be moved further back to the purple wall. But yeah, like, yeah, people be putting their legs, be posting their legs up, putting scuff marks on my thing. I don't be tripping. Sometimes I don't see them doing it, but I don't trip too hard. But I know myself, once I paint, yeah, I, I can't have it. I will let them know. Do not put your feet on my wall. Sometimes, y'all, sometimes. Some people, they will literally put their feet, I guess, you know, I guess I got a chill vibe, you know. They be put their feet on the top of this thing right here. Yeah, my client be chilling. I guess I got that chill vibe, you know. Just got that chill vibe in my salon, so you don't have to come in my salon, because I brings the vibes. So yeah, like, just imagine once this is done, how chill it's gonna be in here. Like for me to have it chill now, like imagine once it's done how relaxing it's gonna be. Wee. It's happening! Dang, I should've got this smooth one. Now I'm reminded of why I didn't want to get, well, I just gotta do multiple coats. Okay, so I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then put another coat on it so I can really see what I'm looking at. Alright. I think I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, so y'all see it kind of in natural lighting. Natural light. Ooh, it's coming out dark on here. Let me turn. Let me get my ring, my light so y'all can really see. It's getting real. I don't know if y'all can see it because the more I put the light on, the darker it gets. It's literally, I need a natural light. Let me turn this off again. But it's like a, almost a sage green. Yep, like a sage green. Let me show y'all the uh, pan, cause since the pan is white, you can kind of see it a little more. So let me go to the natural light in the window. Yep. So yeah, and then it's not the sun is not as the sun is not out as much, so you really can't see it good. But yeah. I know this is a crazy color, y'all, but stay tuned. Yeah, so, I, well, so what I'm going for is like an eclectic calm look in here. So that's green, and I got purple, and I got turquoise. Made it make sense. And that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, stay tuned. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so I'm going to do the other wall. Okay, so this is the next color. It doesn't look that much of a difference, but it, it's a difference. It's a little, it's like a shade lighter. So yeah. Come on, come on lighter. Yeah, that's different. All right, so this is the next shade. It almost comes off as beige right now, but that's not the, you know, the final color. So this is the one I just put on the wall, and this is the one I'm about to put on the wall. So y'all can see it is a difference. Okay.
Y'all always get that. <coughs> Hell, it, I gas every time I do paint. <laughs> Cause it, it gets me every time. Cause your vision is coming to life. Yep, your vision is coming to life. So this is what it's looking like. So you can see the difference in the colors, but yeah, like I said, y'all already know the camera does not show it good, but I know once I put more, and it's cloudy outside, y'all, so I don't have the natural light like I want to, so y'all can really see it. But yeah, oh my goodness, let me y'all fall. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to get rid of that out the way. I'm so excited. Cause, yep, I have like a, another shelf thing for my brooms and stuff that I'm gonna put on this wall. And I'll be done, yes. All right, so now for the last color. Feel the vibe. That's the one. And cause it, when I was, I kept finding myself coming back to this color. When I was looking at the other one similar to this color, it gives a vibe as well. When I'm as I'm picking out the, the colors, I want to feel the vibe, feel the color. Cause yes, I believe in colors giving vibes. So, oh my goodness! So let me show y'all. As you can see, we got these three. These three. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, y'all, it's coming off as baby blue on here, but it's like a mint green. It's uh, it's called, the name of it, it's called Spa. So, uh, of course, you know, like I said, it's gonna darken up. That color is going to darken up, so. Yeah. But like I said, y'all, uh, when it's much brighter outside, Y'all see the true colors, but yep, this is what we got. This is what we got. So these are the colors. I see the vision. I see the vision. This is gonna be crazy, y'all. This is gonna be crazy. Your girl has never been good at math. I never been good at it. Your girl, perfect measurements. OMG. OMG. Right on the money. It's coming to life. It's vision. My vision is coming to life. It's coming. It's coming to life. All right, so thank you. So that gives me more motivation to finish that table. So, um, so y'all, so if you don't have a measuring tape, um, 
with you on hand or anything and you trying to get measurements for something, I use my iPhone, the uh, measuring tool on my iPhone. I, uh, yeah, it, it helps so much. Like I measured from one cabinet to the next and it was right on the money. Right on the money. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna have to send a picture to my hubby so he can see you. Yeah. yeah, so the mirror, only thing is the mirror, I wish that I can align it better, but we use the stud finder and like where I wanna put it, it's an issue right there, but I'm gonna see if we can squeeze, if we can squeeze that mirror where I want it to be at, at least get a little closer. At least get it a little closer to the center. Why they didn't center these lights? They're not centered. Like, those lights need to be moved over a little bit. They mess with my vision. <laughs> no, I'll stop. Okay, it's, okay I'm, I'm looking back at it. I looked away and I'm looking back. It's looking more green. Y'all, I got nervous for a second because it started really looking blue. And I don't, I want it to be a cool tone, but I don't want it to be too blue. So it kind of made me nervous there, y'all. But I see it as it's drying and I took my eyes off of it and look now I'm looking at it again. It's getting greener. It's finished with my crunch. Let me show you what it looked like since the sun went down. See it? So it's... You kind of see the color a little more. When I do that though, it kind of looks the same. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna try to paint tomorrow. So we're gonna try to paint. So that's the goal. And hubby might try to come and get the mirror fixed and put up this thing on the wall for the uh, broom and stuff. Making progress, making progress. All right, y'all. Let's turn this off. Mm. 